There they are, Depeche Mode. They're only five feet away from us. We got a million cameras going up. A lot of people out here. About yeah, 10,000. 10,000 is what I heard from the LAPD. That was their estimate. And uh, they're getting ready to sign right now. Look at this. This is incredible. We are live inside the warehouse at Beverly and La Sienica with Dave, with Alan, with Andy, with Martin, and your mics are live on the table if you want to grab them. You're live on the radio at K-Rock. You there? Yes, we're here. Good to see you guys. Now, is this more like a concert than an install? Dave, hi Dave! How are you doing? Is this more like a concert for you than an install? Were you surprised driving up? Oh, it's nothing like a concert. No? <laughs> but no I mean, but it's, uh, we're very... Uh, moved by that. I mean, I, we didn't expect this many people to turn up. I, I heard a rumor that you thought there might only be like 30 people show up, like a spinal tap. Yeah, we was hoping. <laughs> but instead, I mean, you've got over 10,000 people. Have, have you rested all your hands? Are you ready for the signing, Martin? I feel really great at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the moment you've been waiting for the entire show, folks. Request video presents to you Dave, Alan, Fletch, and Martin. They are Depeche Mode right here. Welcome to Request Video, dude. Oh, yeah. All right. This is absolutely insane of you. I mean, you guys aren't even playing a concert, and you could sell out the forum with this autographing session. <laughs> yeah, well, um, it's really flattering. It's very nice. Did you hear the crowd estimate from the LAPD on this one? Uh, I think we just heard, yeah, 17,000. Amazing. You know, you guys always come up with something here in L.A. Like, how could you have topped the Rose Bowl, but this just might have topped it? Well, it's nothing, it's, it's not even like, it's something planned, you know. We just, we were asked to do an in-store, and we said, yeah, it'd be a good idea. You know, we're not doing any gigs at the moment. Um, we didn't never expect this kind of turnout, you know, yeah. so just... You, do you think this could very well set a precedent? Because, you know, big bands like yourself usually don't do anything like this, do they? Uh, Dave? I don't know. We do, you know. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, are you excited? Do I get this autograph? Yeah, I am. Very excited. Thank you. 106.7 K-Rock, K-R-O-Q. That's Policy of Truth from the new album Violator from Depeche Mode. That one's on sale worldwide today. There's some sampled metal guitars at the end. Now, we got, first of all, an important announcement, and this is primarily for the 17,000-plus people who are all waiting in line outside, and I know a lot of them have radios on. Pass this on. We just heard from the police department that we have to keep it mellow out there, otherwise the cops will close it down, all right? As long as we keep it mellow, uh, if there's like no fights or pushing or anything, everyone will get through. We're getting through real fast, as the uh, folks on this side of the building can see. And uh, trust me, in the next last mile and a half of the line, you will get in through and meet Depeche Mode. But we have to keep it mellow. Otherwise, the cops will do their job, unfortunately, and close it down. We don't want that to happen. That would be the worst thing possible. So keep it mellow. Don't push. Don't shove. And everyone will get through. And that will be real good. Well, I think the, uh, apart from all the riot stuff, one of the funniest things about that, 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 that evening was I was feeling really, really ill, and I didn't think I was actually going to make it there anyway, but I managed to pull myself together, get to the, get to the, uh, the store, and then, uh, you know, there was obviously far more people than we, we'd expected, and we'd done those sort of things in the past, maybe three or four thousand had turned up, but, like, there were sort of official estimates of about 15,000, and when people realised that they weren't, all going to get in, they started getting a bit restless, and people at the back were pushing. It was really dangerous to the people at the front, because it was a big glass uh, front to the shop. And uh, after about an hour and a quarter, the, the police just called it off, because it was just getting out of hand. And there could have been, you know, there were a few minor injuries, but there could have been sort of serious casualties there. So they told us to stop after an hour and a quarter, and, you know, leave, and then maybe the crowd would disperse. And they didn't for about, you know, three hours afterwards. But uh, it was quite fortunate for me, because I was ill. Well, it wasn't really a riot, let's get it straight. I mean, there were a lot of people. I, I, it's not what I call a riot. There wasn't any violence involved. Uh, a couple of people did get hurt, unfortunately, but basically the, all the fans that were there were very well behaved. 
It was, uh, yeah, right, Chelsea on a Saturday afternoon. Now, that's a riot. <laughs> but, um, no, there, there were more people turned up than we expected, and obviously there was, was some danger, and that's his correct decision to uh, leave. You know, we're obviously very pleased that so many people wanted to come and see us. Hello, we're Depeche Mode, and we'd like to thank everybody who was involved with our in-store at Warehouse last March, and we appreciate all the efforts that were made to try to make it up to the people that didn't get to meet us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.